My name is Jim. I have been a Republican all of my life, dating all the way back to the Richard Nixon campaign in 1972, where as a freshman in high school, I handed out leaflets and uh, supported the Richard Nixon campaign a long time ago. This year, though, I will be voting for and supporting Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. I was raised in a small town in Western Pennsylvania, small working class family, and we were taught by our parents a number of lessons. Chief among them, though, was the idea that the only thing that you leave behind when you leave this earth is the honor in your name. And by that they meant, how do you treat people? Do you treat people with dignity, with respect, with compassion? Do you understand the journey that they've been on? And how do you behave? Do you behave with integrity and with honesty? There was no greater sin to my parents than to be dishonest, either to others or to yourself. A number of years ago, I had a conversation with my mother. She was dying of lung cancer. And she told me that no matter how many diplomas I had on the wall, no matter how much money I had in the bank, none of that mattered if I wasn't a good person. I have not been perfect, but I have tried to live by that ideal. I believe that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are good people. They aren't perfect either. But Joe Biden has a deep understanding of compassion that comes only from real personal loss, not from losses on your income tax statement. I believe that he and Kamala both understand that there are people in this country who are suffering and who need our help that they can't all pick themselves up by their bootstraps, no matter how much they try. I have seen as a first responder, the impact of the coronavirus on my friends, on my family, and on so many others. And I am tired of the lies and the dishonesty that I see coming from our president. I was a Republican because I believed in their ideals of capitalism and free markets and small yet compassionate government of supporting our military and opposing dictators. I don't know what's happened to that party. They've become the party of Devin Nunes and Matt Goetz and Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity. They've become the, pa the party of anger. They've become the party of fear. And now with Donald Trump, they've become the party of anti-science, of QAnon conspiracies, of not uh, supporting our military, and of coddling dictators and alienating our allies. So when I dig into my conscience, when I look inside of me and try to understand who I am and how I want to be as a person, what the honor is that I want to leave behind in my name, I can only conclude that I am going to support Joe Biden. I don't agree with everything that he does. I don't agree with everything about the Democratic Party but I do believe in treating people respectfully, with dignity, with compassion, and having a healthy debate with one another without calling each other names or denigrating our families. For me, it's the only thing that my conscience will allow. I hope that you will examine your conscience, how you were raised, what you were brought up to believe, and the honor that you wanna leave behind in your name. And I hope that you will support Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. Thank you.